in this video, we're going to compare the result by looking at the PV band of various SRAF placement solutions. So to summarize, we started out with this pattern here, and we did a triple pattern decomposition and then we did a retarget. So I'll show the output layers of this. Okay, so the original um, pattern was in the gray. The retargeted uh, after decomposition, the blue layer is the purple. And then we added S rafts in a rules-based approach. So we'll just look at the output layers of this. And then I ran a PV band. Show output layers. And just to give you a comparison, um, if we did OPC without SRAFs and we look at the PV band, we get the uh, the red here, and you can see that the SRAF placement improves the depth of focus, um, mainly in positions where SRAFs are. So the yellow band is with the SRAFs, and it is narrower than the red band the red PV band, which is without SRAFs. And that's what we expect. So this is a place where you can see it's very clear that the yellow band is smaller. And we also, so in this case here, these are about the same width, but there's no SRAF here. So we can also look at the case when we did model-based SRAF, which looked like this. OK, the gray ones are the model-based SRAFs. And for example, it placed an SRAF here. And let's look at the PV band for the model-based SRAFs. So here we see the blue is narrower than the red, which is with no SRAFs. It's about the same width as the yellow here, maybe thinner than the yellow here, because we've got an SRAF being placed here. So the blue seems comparable with the red and definitely, or sorry, comparable with the yellow in some situations, but definitely better than the red. And finally, we have another rules-based SRAF here. So I will hide these ones, hide output layers, and we'll look at the PV band here. And that's the green one. Again, the green is better than the red which is no SRAFs, and it's comparable to the yellow. But the blue seems to be beating the green, at least here. So to summarize, we did a triple pattern decomposition, then we focused just on the blue layer where we did a retarget 
And then we applied various SRAF solutions. And you can see how the ability to group the operations into a tree here becomes useful because it allows you to visualize what operations kind of go together and make sense together. So we can look at the PV bands of all of these. And we can just say, show output layers only, and then compare that with the target, which would be this output here show output layer 